All right, question number two. Question number two says, two quantities N and T are related as follows. N is equal to the square root of T. We're to find the value of N when T is equal to 49. So N is equal to the square root of T. Now, when T is equal to 49, N would be equal to the square root of 49, which is positive and negative seven. So whenever you find square root of a number, you're going to get two answers, one positive and one negative. So the square root of 49 is positive and negative seven. Next, we're asked to make T the subject of the formula. So we have N is equal to the square root of T and we want to make T the subject. Now, if T is a subject, we need to have T by itself on one side. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get rid of the, um, the square root sign. And the way to do that is to square both sides. So if I square both sides, I'm going to get um, N square is equal to T. Turn that around, you get T is equal to N square. So now T is a subject, T is equal to N square. B, B says, um, Ali is um, X years, Jim is five years older than Ali, and Chris, um, and Chris is twice as old as Ali. I write expressions in terms of X for Jim's age and Chris's age. All right, so let's start off with Jim. So we're told that Ali is X and that Jim is five years older. So five years older than X is X plus five. Five years older than X is X plus five. Now, Chrissy, Chris is twice as old as Ali. Twice as old as X is two X. Now, in two years time, the product of Ali's age and Chrissy's age. So in two years time, <clears throat> Ali, Ali would be um, X plus two, she'd be two years older. Um, Jim would be X plus five, what she's now plus two, which would be made that X plus seven. And Chris would be um, two X, that's how old she is now, plus two. So this is all, this is everybody's age in two years time. Ali would be X plus two, um, Jim would be X plus seven, and Chris would be two X plus two. Now we are told what? Um, we are told that the, the product of Ali's age and Chris's age will be the same as the square of Jim's present age. So the product of Ali's age in two years time, which is X plus two, the product of Ali's age and Chris age, which is two X plus two would be the square of what Jim's present age is. Now presently, Jim is what X plus five, and we're told to square it. Then now we're asked now to use this information to show that um, x squared minus 4x minus 21 is equal to zero. Hope you're able to do this. So let's start off with the left-hand side. On the left-hand side, binomial expansion, x times 2x is um, 2x squared. x times 2 is 2x. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times 2 is 4. 
That's on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I'm going to have this is x plus 5 multiply by x plus 5. So let's multiply x times x is x squared. x times 5 is 5x. Five, 5 times x is 5x. And 5 times 5 is 25. Let's simplify. On the left side, we have 2x squared. 2x plus 4x is 6x plus 4 is equal to, on the right side, x squared. 5x plus 5x is 10x plus 25. All right. So let's make, um, let's bring everything over to the, on the right hand side to the left side. We have 2x squared. Positive x squared on the right comes over to the left and becomes negative x squared plus 6x. Positive 10x on the right comes over to the left and become negative 10x plus 4. Positive 25 on the right comes over to the left and becomes negative 25. And this would be equal to 0. Let's simplify. X, 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. 10, sorry, 6x minus 10x is minus 4x. If the signs are different, subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. And 4 minus 25 is minus 21 is equal to 0. So we were asked to show that x squared minus 4x minus 21 is 0, and we, and we were able to do that. Based on the information given, we're asked to show that x squared minus 4x minus 21 is equal to zero, and we were, uh, we were able to do that um, easily. All right, we're asked to calculate Ali's present age. Remember, Ali is presently x years old. So in other words, if you have an equation in x and you can solve that equation, you can determine what is Ali's present age. Because whatever value you get from x when you solve the equation, that would be Ali's present age. So if I solve this, I'm going to solve this using um, the method of factorization. So to do that, I'm going to factorize the left hand side. Now, in factorizing the left hand side using the ABC method, I'm going to first find AC, which is 1 times minus 21 which is minus 21 and B is equal to minus four. Now to factorize, I need to find two numbers. When I multiply those two numbers, I get negative 21. When I add the same two numbers, I'm going to get a negative four. Now those two numbers are minus seven and positive three. When I multiply minus seven by three, I'm going to get minus 21. And when I add minus seven and three, I'm going to get negative four. So I'm going to have x squared minus seven x, use that to replace the middle term, plus three x minus 21 is equal to zero. Over to the left, x is common, x into x squared is x, x into seven x is seven, over to the right, three is common. Three into three X is X. Three into 21 is seven, and this is equal to zero. Here, both X, X minus one, X minus seven is common to both sides. So I have X minus seven multiplied by X plus three is equal to zero. Now, if I'm multiplying two numbers and I'm getting zero, it is either the first number that is equal to zero or the second number that is equal to zero. Therefore, X is equal to seven or X is equal to minus three. Now, because we're dealing with age, X is actually the age of somebody. Somebody cannot be negative. Somebody's age cannot be negative. So we're gonna reject this answer. And we say that Ali's present age
is seven years. Ali is presently seven years old. <laughs> 